She says, Appreciate I started that. talking to a guy. We became intimate. We haven't talked for long. I say under a month. So I feel like it's definitely too early to bust out with the what are we convo. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it's starting to kind of feel like a friends with benefits situation. But at the same time, no, because we talk every day. Not just about sex. He also tells me he's not talking to any other girls. But realistically, guys had that roller coaster. I mean, no, guys had that roster and he lying. Some of his friends also knows he's talking to me, so I don't know if that means anything. It, it don't. Um, I, I guess my questions are, do I just go with the flow and let what we... Uh, let Oh, let the what are we convo come naturally? How do I move with him in order to show him I'm interested, but I don't need you? And last but not least, do guys think cuffing a girl shifts your focus from goals you may be trying to pursue? In other words, do you think cuffing a girl might pull you away from your grind? Yep. Or will a man do both if he really wants you? Mm. Man, he can <laughs> he can do both if you let him do both, but a lot That's of times, real. a lot of times, it's That's not going to happen. That's real. That in a perfect world, if I can grind and then have a woman that understand that, hey, you know, hey, this baby, I'm, I'm doing, not going to be here twenty four seven. That's it. I don't have I don't have such and such time. I don't have a nigga that sit on the on the station at twenty four hours a day time. I don't have that type of time. You get what I'm saying? I may I may have four hours for you. Are you happy with that? And that's, and that's maximize this shit And make the most of it Are you happy with that? And be honest with you I want you to have a, At least four hours for me Because I need to see you Grinding so we can build some shit That way we can relax later mm -hmm. A lot of women not, Hey I can give a fuck what <laughs> Perfect world A lot of women ain't going for that Because mm -mm. they want too much time mm -hmm. I think it's this man time. You go with the flow you go with the flow for a certain amount of time. And I can't really say how much time because you talk to him. So, you know, his mindset, different things like that. You go mm -hmm. with the flow for a certain amount of time. And when you get inclination, I think it's getting there now that it would be a good time, which is probably now she's, since she's writing yeah. us about it. She had a month. They should have been texting every day. Right. Then you sit yeah. him down and say, hey, what are we doing? And it's not on no pressure situation. Right. It ain't no what are we. Don't say what are we. I'm, <laughs> you need to come up with a plan or else I'm leaving. Don't say what are no, we. No, 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 no. No, you come to him, sit down with a, hey, what, what are we doing mm -hmm. kind of situation. So where it's like, okay, I'm I'm cool either way. Right. You come to it and you give that vibe off, you're going to be good to go. Matter of fact, say that first off. Hey, I'm cool either with way. The high go. I don't care less high fall, but I need to know. What are we? Right. What are we doing? So I can start moving accordingly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have that conversation. And you judge, and you listen for what he's not saying. Fuck mm -hmm. what he's saying. You listen for what he's not saying. You listen for the intangibles. You listen to, okay, do the nigga eyes look up and to the right when he answering me? Or mm -hmm. did he drop his head? Or did he, is, is, is the nigga twitching his hands? He rubbing his hands while he talk? You listen to what's not being said. Mm -hmm. And then you make your decision based off of that. You know what I'm saying? I think a, a, a lot of women complicate things. Mm -hmm. To whereas, you know, you will start like, okay, I don't want to offend him. I don't want to run him up. Fuck that. That's your time that, that you are, that okay. you're going to be wasting if Facts. you don't do that. Big because how men are set up, right? We're going to go with the flow. As long as you allow us to do some bullshit, guess what we're going to do? Some bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? But until you put that foot down or put that, you know what I'm saying? And again, not too early because that's going to look thirsty. But it sounds like y'all been talking for a minute and, you know, you still unclear. Mm -hmm. So you sit him down To try to get clear And you gauge his answers And you move accordingly And you really move accordingly mm -hmm. Don't just get the answers And you know it's some bullshit And you're like Okay I'm just gonna still Try to ride it out to see Maybe maybe one day I can change his mind or Maybe one day I can convince Let me explain You know something. how they do Never. Right Y'all gotta you know stop do. doing that shit Trust what your instincts Are telling you And either stay and kick it that Or move around intuition. Simple as that Uh I'm going to disagree with B. I don't think you should keep going with the flow. I think you need to figure out what the hell you really want out of this situation. And once you figure out what you want, if you want to keep on, you know, just fucking on the low, you know, talking for a little bit and wondering if he's you're the only one, because you already said you think he, every man has a roster, so he's obviously probably lying. Or you sit there and, and, and deal with the fact that you're probably not going to be his main one later on down the line anyway. Uh, I say you get you figure out what you want. And then you sit him down and say, hey, I know we've been doing this, you know, chilling, you know, talking on the side or whatever. But this is what I'm really looking for right now. Are you willing, you know, are you willing to put up with this? You know, are we we going to make this move or what's going on? And if he's with it, then OK. But if he's not, then move around. Thanks. Yeah, I, I would agree Cause, with Because if you go with the flow, I guarantee you this man is going to go with the flow as long as possible. As long as possible. She said about a month now. That's what I'm saying. And, so and right you, about now, you want to find you, out. You obviously already catching feelings. You're not, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're not just like, 
oh yeah, I'm cool. You know, it's you, not you just a fling for you. You anymore. obviously catching feelings now because you he's obviously giving you a lot of his time. You and that this could be my boy. Friend. And y'all didn't set that standard beforehand like y'all should have of what, what you're looking for. This this is a question. I, I, why why does men them talking about other things outside of sex? Why is that always like something intriguing? Like it's oh we don't always talk about sex but we talk every day or but like for some reason that like kind of stands out because this this, is, this because ain't the first he can person hold a conversation this ain't the first person that said that because, because you got to realize a lot of niggas only know how to talk about sex especially thirsty well, ass niggas I, that I, don't I, know women I think because us men hold hold, hold sex is a high standard on our total mm-hmm. pole so I mean mm-hmm. obviously that's the main thing women think about us men are gonna talk about is sex because we hold yep. hold it so high. Yep. I mean, as soon as you got, as soon as you meet a man, well, a woman meet a man that can talk <laughs> anything except yeah. sex, he got him. He got him. And uh, that's that's the sleep. Uh, <laughs> no, that's that's the, I think that's the, yeah. That's, yeah, the, that's, I, the, that's the game, but we ain't going to talk about that's, that's what I was going to say. I think, I think it stands for women talking to a lot of niggas that's not really interested in them. Mm. Period. You know what I'm saying? So if he's not interested in you, the only conversation is going to be, hey, where you at? Pull up. Can you come through? Okay, I'm coming through. Oh, I can't come through. All right, cool. Conversation wrapped up. You try to talk about anything else. And then he's going to get real short, one wordy situation. But when you got a guy that that actually likes talking to women and he's interested in you, he's going to want to know about you. Now, don't, that don't mean he want to make you his gal. Mm-hmm. He just mm-hmm. he just like talking to women and he's, he's interested. So he's going to want to know. You know what I'm saying? So, But a, a lot of women rarely run into that. Mm-hmm. Because just like y'all said, most niggas can't hold a conversation with women. That's, that's just honest. You know what I'm saying? They'll, you know, with you. most men are intimidated by the sex. Mm-hmm. Most women, when they get to that level, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Most niggas don't even know how to approach a woman. Good point. So they Good leave point. with the sex. Past girl, sex, I, yeah. Girl, I, I eat your booty whole while. <laughs> what? <Notice. laughs> what? Nigga, no, my name not Kenny T. Notice. <laughs> eat your booty over the grape. <laughs> yeah. But you, I feel like it shouldn't even, I don't know. I feel like that's simple, though. You know what I'm saying? When, when I was talking about the, uh, got them requirements and just the levels and you know what I'm saying what they always talking about and what they need is that's that's like that should be that's that's one of the bare minimums that we be talking about and that it needs to be more consistent and more on the regular for women. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, man, I think I think women just need to trust their eyes a lot of times. They'll be leading. They'll be moving according to what they want to happen instead of what actually is happening. A yep. lot of times you had an answer without even talking to him. Yep. If you move in the right way. But a lot of them don't. They they just let him, okay, I'm just going to listen to what he's saying. I'm just going to Oh, forget all of that. You need to start listening to what he's not saying. Listen to listen to the shit that ain't being on the surface. And then you're going to have your answer because that's what we do. Like every man sitting here that dealt with a chick to where we know, okay, this whole just trying to use us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or this whole just trying to, you know, get some clout off our name. For, she don't really care about me, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And you can you can spot that early. But the difference is, and a lot of women can do the same thing. Mm-hmm. And they'll spot that early and still yeah, fuck with him anyway. Yep. Yep. To whereas us, we'll be like, oh, oh this bitch trying to use me. <laughs> oh, bitch, you, you done. Mm-hmm. And we get rid of her, cut her off immediately. Or if we can get the sex, we smash and then get rid of her. Mm-hmm. Because we know she not there to do us no kind of good. Yeah. Yep. But we trust our instincts. Women have a quote unquote, uh, what, what, what they call women's it? Intuition. Women's intuition, but you don't follow it. So what's the point of having it? It's broken. Really? Like, honest to God's it's truth. Broken. Because men have the same thing. Difference hey, is more times than not, we women's listen to intuition it. intuition is always out of order. It's just real. <laughs> oh, we got that out of order. Like the, like the, like the shakes machine at McDonald's. Yeah, always out it's of always order. Out. You don't know when it's working. <laughs> your, your instincts are not lying to you, I promise. Uh, did we answer the rest of the question? How do, how do I move? How do I move with him in order to show him I'm interested, but I don't need you? Uh, just uh, keep doing what she's been doing. Yeah, I mean, just, you already know you're interested. You already became yeah. intimate. So oh, I yeah, we gave, <laughs> that, we gave all yeah, that already, without even asking. Yeah. Passed by that part. Yeah, but I mean, you can't like you can't be nothing but be you. The only mm-hmm. thing I would say, like, if, you, if you're trying to, like, manipulate him into liking you, which is what it sounds like you're trying to do, <laughs> it's, it's, it's about... Supply and demand. It's economics. We, we we talk about that a lot. If you make yourself extremely available, you lower your potential. You know, you lower your priority. Yep. Value. If you want to get him to like you, or if you're trying to manipulate him, you need to ask us that. Now we can give you that. Yeah. If you always if you always available, baby, like you always on the market, so I can grab you off the wall at any whenever, time, at any time. Right. But if your ass sold out all the time. 
If you sold out all the time, I'm be waiting on you. I'm gonna be waiting on you. Preach. You get what I'm saying? Like Preach. it's that kind of shit. Like niggas is waiting for these these PS fives to come out, baby. They 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 sold out. You got millions waiting in line. That's how you need to be. Yeah. They Which, should, they should what, be waiting on you. Yeah, which goes back to what Kenny said. You need to look in the mirror and figure out what the hell you want out of the situation. Do you want do you want shit to happen organically and go with the flow, or are you trying to manipulate them? If you're trying to go organically, by this time y'all been talking a month and you still unclear, I think that's your answer. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to manipulate him, then you need to make yourself less available than you're making yourself. Because if I know women like I know women, you are probably super available. Mm-hmm. And you are probably at his beck and call. Whenever he hits you, you ready to pull up because you're excited because you like mm-hmm. him. She clearly. Like him. Yeah. That's real. Mm-hmm. You need to temper that. And he has more than just sex that he's offering right now. So, right. yeah. So, her her, her interest like, is kind of high. I feel like he hit her with it. I'm grinding right now, so I'm really. <laughs> so, you that's can get out of jail free call. That's why she asked that you question. You need to have him right. chasing you and not the other way around. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just know your value. Just yeah, know find you out, find out what you want. Just know you riding around. You the you the rose. You know what I'm saying. He got to come to you. Yeah. You ain't got to come to him. Straight up, man. Shout out to Jenna. Um, next one. In one of your episodes, you said something. Damn, this shit is long. God, that was like was you know a man. Stories this time. <laughs> you said something that was like you know a man is into you if he invests in you, takes you on dates, and etc. Well, if you're talking to a man that you're talking to about your financial situations and he offers to help, but he only loans it to you. <laughs> And ask for it back when you get it. Uh, it's more than a couple hundred dollars. Would you still consider that investing into you and uh, enough to tell he's actually into you or just a friend that he's loaning to? We haven't been on an actual date before, but we do hang out during the day at my place or his when he's free and just talk and enjoy each other's company. And he text calls me throughout the days every day to let me know what he's doing and how his day is. And he asks, how's mine? I guess I'm having mixed signals on if he's treating me as a friend, even though he says he's into me, uh, that he's just busy. And I met him at the wrong time. So he's trying to manage his time between business, family, and spending time with me. We have had sex, but our relationship isn't solely based around it. We've hung out several times without sex. What advice would you give her? She sound like the two o'clock. Chick. Man, sh- he she offered did. to help you. But he but wanted you, it back. But you got to pay it back. Yeah. What's, 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 too much into that, what's wrong with that? He's offering to help. You got a financial problem going on right now. You got a plan on how you can fix that. He says, hey, I can I can loan you this amount of money. You just got to pay it back in this certain time period. That's it. What, why are you reading? Or, or you're going to go to a bank. And you, now you got to pay <laughs> interest. <laughs> interest. 15% interest. 18% interest on a signature loan. <laughs> Or a personal loan Kenny You know what I'm saying that's the truth. No but that's the truth that's though the truth. You're right you know what I'm saying this you know, We broke that shit down you, To black and he, white logic He loaning you the money Interest free All you gotta do Is pay back What you goddamn uh, no, she got gotta, She gotta still Come give on, it baby. She gotta give it up too And then you on know, top of that, know that He already hit though He already, he already hit. hit But he gotta keep hitting You know he ain't about Just giving her no money Then he well, stop he, hitting I mean well He's not really giving it to her He's not giving it to her now He said he got it to her Yeah but I'm saying If he loaned it You know like He ain't gonna just Give her no money he Long doesn't. It. He doesn't have. To, he didn't even have to offer the loan. He didn't no, have didn't. To offer that. He's he didn't he's offer offering it. it now, and he's already hit. So I'm saying, like, he's trying to help you financially to do exactly. whatever it is. He's trying to make sure you don't lose your shit. This is this is a a black man trying to help a black woman right now. Exactly, and you read to too deep prosper. into that. Just get that man his money back and step the fuck out of the way. <laughs> or don't, obviously don't, you ain't worthy of getting no money loaned to you. Don't, don't like, even don't even look at it as a friend or as a boyfriend or whatever. It they is. friends with benefits. Look at it as a business move. They friends with yeah. benefits. Yeah, this is a business. Explain something, baby. You are the homie. That's it. That's you it. Accept your role. Y'all just fuck every now and again. It's friends with benefits type of situation. And only during the daytime. <laughs> only during the daytime because he probably work nights or. He got he got to or his gal get off at night, so he got to spend time with her. Mm-hmm. But the the thing is this, right? If we really like you, and we see you like as a girl, he wouldn't ask for that money back. Yep, he wouldn't. You know what I'm so saying? That's facts. That's that's just real. But he asking you for it back. So what that means is that you are not at a high priority. Y'all cool. He's cool with mm-hmm. you. He like fucking you. He respect you. You enough. attractive. Y'all kick it. It's fun exactly. to be around. But he not, he doesn't see you in a serious light. You need to take that information and do what you need to do with it. And please pay the money back. <laughs> please pay he give it the money back. No, no, she, she say he has. And yeah, she, okay. she said that it's more than a couple hundred. Oh, yeah, go ahead and get it back to him. That way you're done with that. that. Back, you're man. done with that because he going to try to hold it over your head. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Wash your hands with that, yeah. with that situation, baby. You're wasting your time. Um. Okay, on to the next one. Hello, Kings. I met this bomb ass dude on Instagram. He's 31 and I'm 26. We've been talking for a month consistently, texting, FaceTiming. I currently live in Buffalo, 
and he lives in uh, New York City. Mm-hmm. We recently met in person, spent hours having a fun time with one another while having deep conversations. We both revealed that we have trust issues. So oh, it- oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Trust issues. <laughs> oh my God! Is that gonna be on the tape? <laughs> Remix. <laughs> my, my voice ain't there yet. Uh, clearly, I had, clearly, I had my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being I, uh, in our history, my question is: Do I tell him I have other men on my roster that I'm sexual with, or only give the info he asks? By the way, keep striving to be the best and continue to produce a one material. This is Brianna <laughs> Bell. I don't want to hear who hey, you're sleeping hey, with. You do not ever tell on yourself, he girl. Ask, <laughs> don't tell. God damn man that, that conversation that came up now, here don't you ain't gotta just really yeah. if he asked okay now does she does she is she supposed to be honest if she if, if, he, if he, he asks, asks yeah you'd be straightforward yeah. okay I'm just making sure that's about being sure. an adult because you know what I'm saying don't I'm ask saying, so 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 basically don't ask don't tell people is dirty out here exactly all right okay so what she needs to do honestly if you have other sexual partners you have sex with make sure you're getting tested before you have sex with this man right okay even whatever you have sex you can have multiple sex partners whatever it is but after you have sex with a certain a certain somebody Make sure you go get tested After that Because exactly. you don't know What they doing Beside you And so on and so forth exactly. That's on that part But Don't relate that information Until he asks you about it For real And then you be straightforward With it And be honest And up front He's gonna, he's gonna respect you more If he be mm-hmm. honest with him He's gonna be like Damn you know, he, Okay cool You gonna stand yeah. out for sure Yeah that's what I was about to say. Like, you don't really have nothing to lose in, in that situation. Like, you just keep keep it G. Conversation come up, you tell the truth. Because all that's going to do is raise your stock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? It's something about a chick that does, I mean, it's, it's just the opposite way. But it's something about a chick that has a lot of interest from other men, mm-hmm. especially successful men, that raises your stock in our eyes. It's, it's fucked up. But it is what it is because right. it's the same way the other way around. Mm-hmm. Basically, he's looking at you like, damn, she don't need me. Correct. Mm-hmm. She want me there. Correct. And she has other situations mm-hmm. in case, Damn. you know, I I flake or I fuck up, she good. Yep. So that's going to make us, you know, put you in a different party and we're going to make it more of an effort to spend time with you. So you don't really have nothing to lose in that situation, man. You shouldn't be worried at all. Just you, keep moving. If he you don't never ask, you don't say You don't shit. tell, baby. <laughs> say a oh, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Stay up. All right. Good afternoon, crew season. I'm so thankful to have uh, came across your many videos of truth on YouTube. Mm. I just continue watching, knowing that it's giving me plenty of advice to hold on to. At the end of the day, I am still a single woman. I enjoy hearing both the women's and men's uh, take on most relationship aspects. If you could touch on anything new, I personally would like to hear about when a man that isn't ready for a relationship but starts talking about boundaries (laughs) for the relationship we are getting further in. Also said... uh, also said, man, spending a lot of quality time with myself, and I met his family. The family meeting has completely died and doesn't have near as much value as it could have. However, this is a subject I like to hear Crew Season's perspective on. Thank you much, and I'm going to tune back into the YouTube. So let me see if I can peel the question out of here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If you could touch on anything new, I personally would like to hear about when a man that isn't ready for a relationship but starts talking about Boundaries for the relationship that we are getting further into. And she says that she spent time <laughs> with the man's family, but she says, you know, you the know climate the these days yeah. changed around to where meeting the nigga family ain't that important. Yeah. So, what's y'all take on how she should be moving in this situation? And a nigga setting boundaries right. before y'all even get there? Right. Oh, baby, he gonna control you, baby. What? Yep. He gonna control you. He trying to control That's all the sign. his pieces. Message! He to- <laughs> Message! He trying to control all his pieces. <laughs> Come, on, Come on, man. Um, Let me be honest, baby. Men are extremely selfish. Very. If we can have you, and we can have you off limits to everybody else, that's exactly what we're going to do. If we don't have to uh, cuff you and, you know, parade you around publicly and risk losing our other women. If we can just talk to you when we feel like it, and you know, make make sure that we the only ones that you're talking to. That's exactly what he's gonna do that's without ever exactly having to give you a title. What it's gonna be? As long as you allow it, he gonna keep doing it. Exactly. And if you get in a relationship with this dude, he is going to control you. Facts. Facts. He's going to hinder Just to you. To start. Wild part about it is that a lot of us do that. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> we gotta take some accountability here hmm. because. Look, 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 look. Okay, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I don't say we we we. I don't say we put boundaries. I say we get jealous. We will get jealous. That's putting boundaries. Very, very jealous. But I don't, I mean, I, th- I think boundaries saying, no, you can't do it. I just say, hey, we, I get jealous. But I'm not going to say, hey, you can't do that. What? Well, I, I feel well, like I mean, you, you can't tell no you wrong start, person what she can You know do. what I'm saying? But 
That's what the, that's the, the way she put is, it. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, boundaries. You can't do that's this. the way this it goes. We, we're not we're not doing certain things. When that's I say the jealousy, way the, yeah. When I say jealousy, it's like oh, yeah. so you yeah. are you yeah. are messing with this guy? Oh, so I'm really not the only boundaries one. Boundaries is controlling. Jealousy, oh. you just like hey, come oh, on, okay. bro, I don't like that. I don't like that. But you just being jealous it's of a certain feeling. thing. It's jealousy is a feeling. Now, now jealousy could be manipulative. Boundaries is different because uh. When you're jealous, you know, you can manipulate and be like, oh, shit, I thought I, thought I was the only one. I thought we was, you know what I'm saying? But boundaries is not, that's, yeah. that's, boundaries is just, hey, you can't do this. We, exactly. and that's that's what what I man, you're going to move this way. You can't do this. You can't <laughs> talk to this man. If I'm jealous with you, I ain't saying you can't talk to him. Exactly. I'm, I'm just saying, give a why hint, like, oh, are wow, you talking? Oh. To <laughs> 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 feel, you know what I'm saying? I'll make little hints and shit. <laughs> I feel bad because I got a dial out here on this lamb. And I'm, by and, your damn, by your damn. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm and I'm normally riding with the men, <laughs> but it we've all manipulated a woman. Oh, we have by setting quote unquote not direct boundaries. Like what? When she get the okay, perfect example. Right, we'll be talking to a chick, enjoying our time, smashing this, that, and the third. It's cool, but she posts a nigga on her Snapchat, or she posts a nigga on her Instagram story. We'll hit her with the old word or the old really. That's what we doing. That's a way of controlling. That's a way of setting boundaries because if we didn't care about her doing it, we would not send her that message. The intention of us sending her that message means I don't want you doing that, even though I haven't claimed you. Or is it I see We you. do that. Or is it I see you and I'm mm, about to compete? It, I, I see you know, be controlling. So, <laughs> so be like, you know, be very possessive. I don't, I don't, very see, possessive. I don't see that as a boundary, though. I, I, yeah. I see that as jealousy. He's very possessive. <laughs> that is jealousy. That's but you know, be he like, nigga, you better not be doing nothing. <laughs> Take that shit down right now. <laughs> Take that shit down. But, but honestly though A lot of men will do that A lot they, of men will be that. talking To four or five different chicks uh -huh. But if we see a chick out With a dude We gonna, we gonna feel away Yeah we, we, Jealousy Right it's jealousy. And, and, I, and I feel like Jealousy is a way Of implying That I don't want you Doing that You're not necessarily Coming okay, out and I saying it I see but I don't But it's implying I understand You feel what I'm saying It's saying that you want You don't want And saying that you can't It's two different things The Th thing is we, we all adults We can't tell a woman What she can and can't you, do Period yeah, and, 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 and vice versa That's true We but, can't But like That's like saying uh, But B saying He giving it like his hints Like hey can Correct can, You can manipulate correct. How they feel <laughs> Correct I don't fuck with you doing that <laughs> but, <laughs> but but women do the same thing That's true Do the same thing You feel what I'm saying just we just like, don't care that's We don't care We but still don't move but, but going back to the Meg Tory situation Perfect example mm -hmm. Meg true. wouldn't claim him publicly mm -hmm. He said alright bet I'm gonna start fucking with Kylie mm -hmm. What she do Act a goddamn fool mm -hmm. Right That's a way of setting boundaries It that is It is a boundary That is a boundary It is okay. She exactly. didn't come out and say Hey I don't want you talking to niggas You mind She didn't say that yeah. Then it wasn't said But she started moving like that You can't assume That's assuming it's that it's a boundary That's not saying If he didn't state it Then it's not a boundary if he didn't, that's like saying, that's like you driving down a, a, a street going 75 miles per hour. Yeah. There's no speed limit. No speed limit. Right. No speed limit at all. You're going to say, exactly. five, and the cop pulls you over and say you were speeding. What's I ain't seen no limit? same one on sign over here. I just said you can't. You were speeding. You, you didn't put up a speed limit. I that's just think real. you were speeding. That is real. But the thing is, I'm not saying it's right. Oh, I know. I know. It that's, right. that's what I'm not. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's a That's why I think thing. we missing each other. I, I, I ain't saying it's right. I'm saying it happens. Yeah, it does. But Men do that a lot. Yeah. Right. We, like, we, we'll be out here acting a goddamn fool. But if she talk to one, if, if she send a tweet that's too flagrant, we like, hold on, my nigga. What's no, up, man? What I you ain't doing? I did that. I ain't I'll be having either. too many. I ain't never did that neither. Okay, okay. But, but so we do, we do, we do send jealous shit. Like you know, it's what I'm a saying? fact. Like, 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 let's say this. She say uh, she's going out on a dinner or a date. Oh, for real? You going out? A on word? A word? Oh, word? I'm only you going with that nigga? I'm only sending eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm only sending eyes. You send eyes until she responds hey, back. Didn't now we? the the coldest shit I ever did was I told a woman what was going to happen after me, and it happened in her life. This nigga here. It ain't my fault. Fast, this nigga. I did. It ain't too. my fault. I did too. My thing is this. My thing is this. I think y'all speaking to women that we don't really like like that. No, I'm every now and again we run into a chick that we really no, no. like. I'm talking, I'm talking about talking a woman. I'm talking about a woman that I really liked. I, I really used to like the woman. So oh, okay, okay. If so, I like her, she okay. my gal. She ain't gonna be out. We done. Yeah, you ain't gonna be out. That ain't true. That ain't, that ain't oh, true. Oh, did she like everybody? That's not true. Hey, you on that the hip? True. You on the hip, baby? Wherever I go, you go. All this love them all the same. Wherever I go, <laughs> baby, you go. Baby, I love you. You coming to the? If I go to the I grocery store, I just see you say you love you to this other girl. If I go to the grocery store, you coming too? Goddamn it. 
No. <laughs> but 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 not but like but men uh, uh, do that because even before we ready to have her, we be feeling like baby, you need to be moving like you mind. Even before I'm ready to to settle. I feel you. I feel you know what I mean? And that's a way of setting boundaries. That's all I'm saying. I feel you. I get you. I, I mean, I get it. I get you, but now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, that nigga's gonna be possessive <laughs> over your ass, bro. He already said boundaries and y'all ain't I nothing. You. I get you, but nah, hey. I'm gonna put that shit on the shirt. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. I understand what you're saying, hey, but nah, man. Put that hey. shit on that. Hey, I get you, but nah. <laughs> Just point yeah. to that shit with somebody talking to me. <laughs> I couldn't find where to go for the advice column, so I do it here, and I want to remain anonymous. Oh, here we go. No, man. Uh, my last relationship ended in 2013. The guy I was with was in a new relationship like a month later. Mm. And they are still together to this day. Mm. Damn. Well, since then, we never stopped having sex. Oh. What? I cut him off. Oh. I cut him off for about three years in between, and we started back up in 2018. He's always telling me how much he thinks about me and how he would never be able to leave me alone completely, yada, yada, yada. More recently, I had a uh, I had baby baby fever right before coronavirus, and I told him about it. And the next time we had sex... Um, after he actually came inside of me. Thank, <laughs> thank God I didn't get pregnant, but he was willing to have a baby with me. I know I need to leave him alone, but I'm trying to understand why he keeps coming back when he's been in a relationship all this time. And just to answer some questions, I'm 26 and he's 28, and we're each other's first real relationship. Man, you are comfortable she sex toxic. for him. You are comfortable sex for hey, him. For real. That's she what toxic, you are. boy. Y'all need, you just need to cut that out. Because the minute y'all have a kid, y'all going to hate each other. And that she kid going to grow up in a terrible it. environment. And if you have a kid, he going to go. He's not going to be there. He's not going to be there. I'm, I'm, what Magic Johnson Magic said? Johnson. I'm, I'm not, not going to be there. That's fucked up. The <laughs> whole time he laughing while they talking too. Yeah, that's no, and damn well, he's not going to be there. That's yeah, right. Yeah. You're, you're really, you're, oh. comfortable, you're comfortable sex for him. Bro. You know, y'all, y'all can get real nasty toxic, each other. though. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. And... She you said she want to have a baby And she allowed the nigga to nut in her And she know he got a gal she knew, bro. And wild. all that I think that, that's, that's toxic bro That situation right there Where she allowed him to nut in her Was her trying to keep a way That she thinks she keep, could keep him that never so having a baby time. That's true and If now, I had his baby Maybe he Maybe we'll stay together creates, Maybe we will be What we used to be And this creates the cycle when the man not gonna be now, not saying that he shouldn't be in the child's That's life, real. I know but what this you're is saying. when he don't be in the child's life because he got he gonna take care of home first, right? Yeah, and that's just the side. I mean, that's just what it is. And like, I didn't want to be here in the first place, but saying that he grown as hell, he busting her too, so he should take care of her. But situations like that happen all the time, and then she now we have niggas toxic, doing what doing what wrong. She fuck yeah, you need yeah. to leave that alone, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, get, get then on that, top of that, some they that's stopped not messing around for three years. Why do women and she can, and, and, and she came? Well, he came <laughs> back to, to the get trouble. Why that. they won't dick that's taken? How about that? Oh, about to get in trouble. How about that? Why y'all be want dick that's taken all the time? It ain't a good. It ain't enough good men out here. But they got they got enough good dick. They got all these broke niggas. They got baby mamas and shit like that. So why can't but they? Because she's, live like she's being that side chick. Exactly. That's what she's being She's oh, dedicated And then they gonna position. put the shit Back on us Saying all men are bad All men are trash Shit like that But when they be dealing With shit like this they, No 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 I ain't gonna say dealing with They the ones called Oh they They put <laughs> themselves In position Exactly Y'all about to get us fired That's no, the hey, truth this is You hear her talking I said I'm riding with my niggas Because at the end of the day Because <laughs> at the end of the day You writing us this Proves that you are knowledgeable Of the bullshit that you doing Yeah Y'all stopped talking in 2013. Still Y'all fucking. kept fucking all throughout. Stopped talking for a little while. Picked back up what she said for three years in between mm. that situation. You know it's wrong. She, and you she know, know it's wrong. And I don't care what he's saying. You just said he had a girlfriend the whole time. Yeah. And you still know it's that, wrong. She just said they still together. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And you still <laughs> fucking him. So that what that what that does for you, right, is that takes away the victim role. Mm-hmm. You can't claim victim at all. You knew what you signed up for. Yep. You getting fucked and you getting you know whatever you getting out of. You then you said that. you got baby fever. Is you know how many niggas out here just want to have a baby? Why would you tell him that? You know the man in a relationship. <laughs> Why are y'all talking about that? Why are y'all talking about so, a so, baby? So it's, it's, it's her fault or his fault? Both of them. Both, both of them. them. It's both of them. Well, see, but it's more see, or less. See, on see, her. Where, see where we fucked up at? Because earlier we said it's 
when playing a side chick role, it's not her fault. It's his fault. True. That yeah, is true. Now she's basically but, a side no, chick role. No, 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 no. I feel, I put it on that, her too. I feel what we said. But I put it on her she too. was a girlfriend that fell to the side chick Correct. role. That's okay. what she said. Different ball game. So that's a whole different ball game. Different ball game. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. Turn around with the <laughs> Because you was number one. Look, look, look. You was number one. She, look, look, look. Then on top of that, she said he was in a relationship a month after. So obviously, he was talking to this chick yep. before they even broke up. Yep. They was he was in a relationship a month after they broke up. So, so he was in a relationship with, with the her, side chick. When he broke up with her. You know what I'm saying? So bam. He flipped the side chick. He flipped the side, flipped, yeah, flipped the side <laughs> chick roles. I right, the man, you becoming the side chick because you ain't doing a goddamn. <laughs> Are you good for it? All she good for is fucking. That nigga a legend. <laughs> hey, hey, the one we need to meet this nigga. The nigga one, legend. The one that that uh, that he been with for seven years. Probably she probably got a good job. Hey, she that's what happened. For sure. hey. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is in a line. You was a placeholder on the mistakes he was making. Where she working? And when he elevated, he kept well. You kept yourself on the side because you kept wanting to fuck him. Yep. This is facts. And you probably let it be exclusive just to him. You mm, was trying mm, to make, mm. you was trying to get your role back. That's what I'm saying. For three years. And then you got mad and salty that he wasn't elevating your ass because you ain't doing what the other girl was doing, big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is what it is. That, 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 mm. hey, that's a facts, man. That's just what it and is. And then you stop fucking this man for three years. Then you come back thinking you're going to get him right back. Talking about you got a baby You trying to trap him That's fact yeah. Just thinking she did about try to trap yeah. him. You No 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 no, no 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 That's not trapping He came in her He trapped himself And she hey, said but, come but in she, she gave but consent But she put that in his head she Wait wait wait, wait, wait. That, is, that, wait, that wait. is entrapment <laughs> No, That's no, the definition no, no, of entrapment. No, no, That's no, fact. She, she gave, put it in his head. No, she gave him a heads up that yes. she had baby fever. Exactly. Yes. If a woman tells you she got baby fever, what you gonna do? And Wrap she, it the fuck up. No, you not. No, no, no. And ain't that? She wanted him I to know that. I am, but them niggas not. <laughs> them niggas not. <laughs> you right, but them <laughs> niggas not. <laughs> you right, Kenny, but the them niggas not. Is, no, the question is: If a woman tells you she got baby fever, what are you doing? I'm wrapping it up. Thank you. I, don't want to have I no ain't baby. even that's, hitting that's, no more. So us. if you don't want no kid, time out. I'm not time even out. hitting you no time more. Out. So he didn't wrap it up. So that's his fault when he came in her. If he has a baby, that's his fault. But she, she planned gave him, on she gave it. Him a warning. He did nut in her until she said, "I want to have a exactly. baby." Exactly. Exactly. So it, that's his fault if she has a baby now. Because but she opened she that gave door. Him a it's, I, I can't it's open it's the door. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? That's probably the only thing the other woman not ready to have right now, and he's probably ready to have. So. Probably so. That's facts, man. But look, oh, but look, so it's real. it's entrapment the same way that, say, for instance, you know what I'm saying, if an undercover agent tells you, hey, man, this bank, you know, leaves the safe open <laughs> six to seven. <laughs> for six and, to seven. And you run it and you go in there for five, that motherfucker. For shift change. That's entrapment. Shift change. It's entrapment. <laughs> You know, you know this is an undercover agent. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Eddie tells you, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> he 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 did not reveal this up because she didn't say, "Hey, I want to have a baby with you." She, she said, said baby "Hey, fever. I have a baby fever. I'm thinking about having a baby." Is that the third? <laughs> so you made yourself the one that's gonna be the one to get her pregnant. It's entrapment. <laughs> no, you put she put, yourself she, in she put the hey. idea in his head. Oh, that's real. God. It's just real. I mean, he shouldn't have done it. You are, he shouldn't have did it. Kenny, he shouldn't have did it. Kenny, you right? But she knew that. I'm trying to ride with him. Trying to hold this woman right here. Hey, no, 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 no. She knew they history. She knew they history they both wrong. And she probably know right now He want a baby The other girl don't want to give it to him Because she got a good job but Good everything else nah, And we she not probably about ain't doing all that We're not about to assume all that Hey, hey, hey I'm assuming all that Because she fell from good graces To the side <laughs> row Now we know that's that. facts I ain't <laughs> trying to hear that That's bro. a wild fall <laughs> you know what I'm about That's a wild fall That's just facts though That's her, facts her fall. And it's fucked up and funny But that's facts Like how you fall from the main chick And the side chick And you accept and you role. keep fucking right, right, right. Yeah, that, you get what I'm saying. That is flavor. You that's, accept the role, but what, what was and then you what fall side chick to the chick he was talking to on the side because he was <laughs> in a relationship a month after you. <laughs> so he was talking to her before you even got out the house. Yep. As soon as you moved out, she moved in. A month later. Same day. A month okay, later. so okay, so let me read it one more time. Uh, he's always telling me how much he thinks about me and how he will never be able to leave me alone completely. 
More recently, yeah. I had baby yeah. fever. She got some fire head. Blah, blah, blah. Next time we had <laughs> sex, he came in me. Da, da, da. I know I need to leave him alone. Oh, she's trying to figure out why he keeps coming back. Right. Oh, we told her. You're you allowing it, first of all. You're allowing him to come back, and he's, you're the comfortable person you can have sex with. Oh. You, and you, he knows you're not going to say she shit. She got some bone. Because you want cause you want it. You want, to you want him back again. You want him back. You he, want your family back. So. He keep coming back to you because he like how your tonsils feel, mm-hmm. and it's convenient. Yep. So uh, simple yeah. as that. I can't. I can't put all the blame on him. It's, it's a lot of blame on That's him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. She fell from graces to the side chick and accepted, bro. I can't. I, it's <laughs> That's nothing. Wild. I mean, I, it ain't nothing that that Like What that argument lot, can she put up about that? That happens a lot, though. Come on. No, it don't. It don't that no, don't, it don't. Hell no, it don't. Can he? Falling from the main to the side and you, you stay there? <laughs> he just, Come on. He, nah. he just got tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, baby, you all right. You all right. You, you just. <laughs> that, is, that is flagrant. Hey, man. hey. But that boy, a legend. That boy's a legend. Put your mom on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dorothy. I'm never coming home again. <laughs> what she said up was so good. When I throw it up in the air, it turned into sunshine. Red boxing. Y'all gonna make me watch that when we get out of motherfucker. All of nights, y'all. If y'all don't know, we talk about all nights. Fact. Bro. All right, last one. Crazy. Jesus. Oh, the fuck, I'm gonna kill you. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop shooting the little motherfucker. The motherfucker away. Hey, Quit. that is crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now that whole situation <gasps> is fucking crazy, man. Uh, hey, man. But that's that's real life, man. Again, Leave again, baby, we're not girl. laughing at you. But if but for real, for real, I'm laughing if I would at say you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm laughing. I would say you know what you signing up for clearly because you writing us asking for advice. You know why you keep coming back. He keep coming back because you convenient. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. And as long as you remain convenient, you gonna keep coming back. Oh, so if you uh, if you want to get off of that roller coaster, it would behoove you to do it right now. Behoove <laughs> if you are cool with it. You have no business writing us. You need to just keep doing what you're doing because right. clearly he gonna hey. keep on hitting. Matter of fact, you need to go holler at the main chick. Hey, I'm finna be the per- permanent side <laughs> chick to y'all. With this shit. I, just wanna, I, I just need, I need to get comfortable with you because I need to know what you're doing out here in these streets. Come to a woman, woman to woman, woman to woman. Barbara, this is Shirley. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, Did you hear the response to that though? You know she had a response? Nah, I ain't hear that. Dog. You gotta hear it, bro. We gotta check it out. Uh, I'm, I'm about to go check it out. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay, so this is a question from my friend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, if a dude ghosts you for a week or two, should you give him another chance if he comes back? My friend says yes, because people are allowed to change their mind and deserve a second chance. I say no. If a dude ghosts me, he better be prepared to stand on that because there's no returning from that. Mm. No. If a nigga ghosts you, how, how did, you give how did he chance? ghost you? Yeah, how did he ghost you? Yeah. I mean, did, you got to give us some more context. Were well, y'all yeah. having like a, a a deep conversation and, you know, y'all ended it on a good note and then y'all just ain't talked for a while for two weeks? Yeah, or was it like y'all argued and he didn't talk to your ass for two weeks? Or you said something he ain't like, like, what are we? Or you tried to degrade this man or... <laughs> What did you do? I what mean, happened? It's, it's different levels of ghosting. You know, some people, you know, just don't want to talk to somebody all the exactly. time. Or if he just glo- ghosted you out the blue, he got some other things what out the blue. It? That's only. <clears throat> other than other than that, we you, got a, you did something. We got a bunch of hoes. If, look, got, if, if, let me put myself in that situation. Low on the totem pole. If a woman ghosts me for two weeks. You coming back. We got nothing to talk about except for the one that Straight up. That's real. That's it. That's real. If you ain't talking about, you know. That's adult, real. If you ain't talking about adult actions, we ain't talking about stuff. What else do you have to talk about? Uh, I said because okay. you got to give context to the situation. I'm sure he goes to, uh, he had amazing sex. So if a chick goes to you and the sex is crazy, she goes to you for two weeks and all of a sudden she hits you, hey, what you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about coming over later. Okay. How, how y'all going to respond to that? Pete, that's it. I am available. <laughs> <laughs> if, well, first off, if I'm available, you said the sex was crazy. Wait, 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 wait. wait. If wait, I'm available, wait, wait. Let me ref- let me rephrase. The sex is life altering. Do I already Ooh. have? I'm plans? moving in. What you mean? <laughs> Do I already have plans? You can't even say I'm moving I'm in. Moving in. <laughs> oh, we know. We know you moving in. Life altering. <laughs> life altering sex. <laughs> I mean, 
Exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. You she hit your it? ass with the Bluetooth. I only have. <laughs> That nigga in the wheelchair and four days we see him. <laughs> we only have life altering sex around here, baby. So yo, that's the that's the uh, norm. What nigga, I, I, I didn't heard about you, nigga. That's not good. Oh, I know. You should have. A uh, lot. Oh Put my it on god. The yeah, that Missy Elliott minute, man. <laughs> she, oh, Kitty, man. you just said you was a quick pumper. Boop, 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 boop. You just said you was a quick pumper. Oh, I just said I, I said I said I got mine. <laughs> look here, look here. Um, to, to answer the question. If somebody goes you, you are at the bottom of the priority list. Let's just, just keep it on. That's it. Because, because you ain't if the even se- at the bottom. You know what I mean? Because if the sex is incredible, if the sex is incredible, you're not ghosting you. You said the mm-hmm. sex is incredible? No, but but I mean, we can we can use context clues. That's what we assume. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? We can, we can use context clues. It's so the that means that, that mean you laid there same like city. a damn doll and didn't do anything. And he was like, I can't deal with this. I am out. He probably tried to hit your friend. Or, or or he was kicking it with you. Y'all was having amazing sex. And he found a chick he really wanted to be his gal. So he started taking the relationship a little serious. Mm-hmm. Two weeks in, you know, and then he come back to Damn. you after the, you know, after the wave died down. Damn. That happens a lot. That do. That do. And I have, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Happen. Okay. What if, what I'd have done it a few let's times. Let's leave sex out of it. What if there's no sex that happened and you just got ghost, ghosted two weeks in? Oh, then the, the, she the it's still the same. writing on the wall, the writing on the it's still, wall. Yeah, it's still on, on the she annoys. She get on your damn nerves. <laughs> she probably is. She probably don't have enough time. It. Sometimes you just don't have enough room on the roster. Mm. Or your conversation piece is just trash. Be honest. With you. That's just facts. Oh, oh, to say he always running out. Of room. Sometimes you, you on one o'clock. Yeah, I'm a little full at once. I'm a little full at once. The schedule's a little tight, baby. I'm sorry. You have to plan a month ahead of time, not a week. God yeah, damn. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Like taking sex out of it. If if somebody goes you, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's over, man. It's over. Be honest, man. It's over. Move on. It's over. Move on. Only way a nigga can come back from there, a family member better had died. They better be somebody close. Man, I was getting my head together, man. My died. <laughs> nigga love said I was getting my head together. <laughs> <laughs> and when we say ghosting, we mean, you know what I'm saying, you hit him up once within that week or maybe twice within that week. Like and he hey, don't respond. Or, hey, they don't respond. Yeah. That's ghosting. Okay, That's so right. yeah, so if we're y'all not, both not, don't text. We say if you if you don't text him in that two Neither weeks, one. if she don't text you in that two weeks, then y'all both fucking each other. Thank you. That's not you know ghosting to me. That's not ghosting. If y'all both don't handle no communication. Y'all both trying to play the game. Thank you. Exactly. I'm just making just making sure. Exactly. But if you cool, didn't cool. hit somebody up once or twice and they ain't responding to you. That's ghosting. Nah, you yes. Eat that shit alone. You ghosted. Yeah. Um yeah, man, my boys pretty much wrapped that up. Uh, on that note, man, we're going to wrap this thing on up, y'all. Shout out to our social media. We got three hours, man. KT underscore Goodrich. Uh, I think that's all platforms. So well underscore fitness, all platforms. SMUV underscore underscore all fucking platforms, bitch. God damn. The Trill AC. All platforms. Follow the Crew Season page, mm-hmm. Crew Season YouTube, patreon.com slash Crew Season. Um, rate the show. Please. Yeah, rate the show, man. Rate y'all, the show, man. Apple, Please. Spotify, everywhere. Y'all rate, comment, let like your friends tell them. Shit. And show a friend, man. I challenge y'all this week to show two friends, man. Everybody that goddamn watch the show, show for two real, of your real. friends, man. For sure, yeah. for sure. Merch coming soon. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're working on that. We got some cold ass jerseys that's coming in. I can't wait till these motherfuckers come in. Y'all gonna see them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so watch once that. In a few days. This nigga hit. So yeah, so once that situation happened, man, we're gonna take some uh pictures and we're gonna put them on Patreon first. And then we're gonna build them to to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Just see how y'all like them, which color scheme y'all wanna go with, this and the third, and then we're gonna go from there. Um but yeah, so that has been what this is, eighteen? Episode mm-hmm. 18? Yes, eighteen. 